So I got my laptop here. Just working on rendering today's first video. Um, that should be up before I take off. Um, going off to a restroom right now. But um, everyone's been talking about the Note Sevens from Samsung with the exploding batteries and how they are not allowed on planes. Well, they just took the time a half hour in advance to announce. They are allowed on planes, but you are not allowed to charge them or turn them on. And they cannot be on gate-checked bags, the bags where they give you a ticket and they put it under the plane at the gate. So, don't worry if you have one and you're flying, you can bring it. Just don't turn it on or they'll yell at you. Okay, I am heading down the catwalk into the plane down to Denver. I still need to look up where exactly my seat is. The uh, video previous to this one is still uploading and will be in touch just around when we take off. Don't let anyone know. I'm probably going to be leaving my laptop on and my cell phone data plan on. <laughs> Again, a freaking line. Okay guys, I'm back in Denver. Time to head back to Terminal A since they have all the good food. So take the uh, flat escalator whatever thing out. Um, that is one of the roughest flights that I've been on ever. No clue why, there is uh, perfect clear skies, not a cloud in the sky. Yet um, the last 10 to 15 minutes was nothing but turbulence. The landing was a turbulent landing. I'm questioning myself, um, thinking if it was actually turbulence or something else. Um, I mean, it was pretty bad. I did uh, manage to sleep for two hours, though. That was good. So I'm doing a bit better. Yep, so I'm going to go head up to the A building and get some food. Or maybe I'll go check out the C building this time. See, these people know how to do it. It may be a three-quarter mile long terminal, but you actually get moving runways things so you can move quickly. Either walking on them or even just standing on them. I think I'm gonna go to Terminal A. I think that's the building with the peaks, unless they all have them. So, let's go see what's in Building A. I mean, look, these here, they're only like 150 feet long. They're newer because these giant terminals and can't even do this much. I smell onion rings and burgers. My stomach's upset, but I still want them. Let's see what we can find, or if we're just gonna head back over to what B, C, I don't know. I don't know. Remember, it's I've been up for nearing so right around 23 hours. I got two hours of sleep on my plane, but other than that I've been up for 23 hours straight. So yeah, food? Maybe? Now I'm questioning if this is the gate I went through last time. Anyway, I'm gonna head over to Pizza Hut. Okay, guys. So once again, uh, I ended up with your chicken bowl. This time, I got a uh, order of breadsticks while I was there because it's also a Pizza Hut, and I have had a banana, and that's about it all day, except for a bit of popcorn. So I don't know. I think it's usually three breadsticks. But yeah. The weird thing is, uh, if you're gonna pronounce or mispronounce my last name, it'd be Bon. Van Call or something like that, but there is like no one named Van Cal. Yet I just heard that a page for someone named Jeanette Van Call, which is definitely Jeanette Van Cal. So that's kind of weird. <laughs> kind of cool. I have never heard of this person, and Van Cal is very common. Chicken bowl, yummy. down the runway. I think this is the first time I've ever gone up on a runway. And I'm finally aboard the Air final traffic control. Completed my trip. I 
I got a window seat in the last flight, and I didn't really get any film because I had a center seat on the aisle, not a window. And the guy at the window closed the whole time, anyways. Yeah. Um, currently the seat next to me is empty, but there was only like three empty seats in the entire plane, so it was probably not going to stay empty. If I forgot to say I love you every day No, I've been keeping track In my quiet way It's hard to fly You don't believe all the time I know I sometimes let you down Thus ends my 5,000 plus mile trip.